A couple of weeks ago, I posted a wrist shot of my friend's Black Dial Frederick Constant classic manufacturer, asking everyone their thoughts on Frederick Constant. And a lot of people told me that they never really paid much attention to the brand. And this included me. I knew that the brand existed and also that they had some in-house movements. So I started doing some more research and what I found was amazing. It's not just that they have in-house calibers. What really blew me away was they offer an in-house perpetual calendar for around $8,000 and can even be snapped up for around $6,000. That to me is insane. I mean, when you look at other brands that offer mechanical perpetual calendars, the price could range anywhere from 25 to hundreds of thousands of dollars. Many people who I interacted with over this topic were still very hesitant to respect such a feat and stated that they would rather have simple time-only watches from other more established brands instead. That as a watch enthusiast who doesn't necessarily care about just a brand name is sad to hear. Look, I get it. Just because a watch has an in-house movement doesn't necessarily make it better. And I even said so in one of my previous videos. But the least we can do here is respect the brand's effort. They might not be 100% vertically integrated, but then again, very few brands are. Before I get carried away and rant on, let's look at the relatively short history of this young brand, after which I shall do a short review of one of their in-house offerings, the Frederick Constant Classic Manufacture. Frederick Schreiner and Constant Stars joined forces in 1904 and produced printed watch dials for other Swiss watch manufacturers. But in 1988, which is relatively young for a watch brand, Frederick Constant was established as a luxury brand by Aletta Bach and Peter Stars, who are fourth generation descendants of the original founders. The brand's first watches launched in 1992, a collection of six models with outsourced Swiss movements. Two years later, in 1994, the Heartbeat model was launched as one of the brand's signature models. The balance wheel was displayed via an opening in the dial, an aesthetic now copied by others too. And then in 2004, a new Heartbeat with the brand's first in-house caliber, FC910, was launched. The brand has had a rapid expansion with 15 in-house movements, including a tourbillon, a perpetual calendar, and world timer. They had also acquired Alpina watches in 2002. Frederick Constant is now under the Citizen Watch Company after being acquired in 2016, along with Alpina. Being under Citizen might probably afford them more financial prowess than independent brands like Oris and Nomos that also have their own in-house calibers. Even though they are not an independent brand like Oris and Nomos, Frederick Constant are making some great watches and today I have this beautiful Frederick Constant classic manufacturer sent to me by my friend to show you guys. Now this is a dress watch and I'm really not all that interested in dress watches, bar a few exceptions. But I also understand that at certain times a dress watch is good to have. In a business environment, black tie parties, matching a watch with a suit. And sure there's nothing wrong with wearing a Submariner or other professional sport watches for such occasions but I've realized that every watch collection needs at least one or two dress watches. And maybe after you've spent most of your watch funds on your favorite sport models, you want a dress watch that would offer quality but still be at an accessible price. Well this is where this Frederick Constant watch comes in. Retailing at around US dollars 2500 but can be snapped up for cheaper than that, it definitely is cheaper than other Swiss made dress watches with in-house calibers and is also one of the cheapest in-house caliber watches that Frederick Constant produces. Even though it's a dress watch, this black dial version of the Frederick Constant classic manufacturer still offers a reasonably large case, which some might prefer. The case diameter comes in at 42 mm with 11.6 mm thickness. So it's not necessarily a slim watch. Being slim is usually expected of a dress watch. However, with a case size of 42 mm, it is probably best to avoid too slim of a profile just to keep true to the overall proportions. The lug to lug on the watch is 49mm and the lug width is 22mm. The case is all rounded with a convex bezel and convex case bands complemented by a round onion crown. The case is very nicely polished and has no brushed elements. The disadvantage of such highly polished parts is that they will collect scratches very easily 
regardless of how careful you are while wearing the watch. Luckily, stainless steel polishes very well and minor scratches do come out nicely when you want to get rid of them. If we forget about the proportions for a second, this watch actually wears quite comfortably and can easily be paired with business or formal attire. It is not too overwhelming on the wrist as the lugs are short and rather slim and do actually hug the wrist. In fact, if you see the watch next to my Submariner, which is a 40mm case, the Frederick Constant looks about the same size with regards to how it appears on the wrist. The size and proportions are modern and will please somebody who wants something with a wrist presence. Now even though it may be paired with a business attire, it might encounter some problems at times fitting under some shirt cuffs. It's overall a very classic looking watch, but the highlight is definitely the dial. In natural light, the black color almost looks like polished lacquer and has a very rich color. It has a glossy surface that makes the dial pop. At times in certain light and angles, the dial appears a dark shade of blue. It is complemented by elegant, sleek Roman numeral hour markers painted in white, just like the slim hands. The date subdial is located at 6, which I always find more elegant in a dress watch, better than a date window. Both sides of the watch has sapphire crystal and through the sapphire case back you can see the caliber FC710, an in-house movement. I don't suspect it's 100% in-house but then again very few movements even from other brands could pass that standard in any case. This automatic movement has 26 joules with a power reserve of 42 hours and it runs at 28,800 VPH with a golden rotor, blue screws, circular Geneva stripes and diamond cut bevels. The decoration is quite appropriate and something that is respectful at this price point. Frederick Constant offers a white dial variant of this watch as well. This watch actually comes on a black leather strap, but my mate has put his watch on this beautiful blue leather strap. If you're looking to add a dress watch to your collection, something with a wrist presence without being overwhelming and with an in-house caliber but still be less than $2,500, then you should definitely consider this watch. It has a simple yet elegant design and definitely feels more expensive than it actually is and is very comfortable on the wrist. The proportions might not be that of a traditional dress watch, but it definitely wears smaller than any 42mm I've tried before. When it comes to Frederick Constant watches, I personally adore the in-house world timer. Let me know in the comments down below what you think of Frederick Constant and would you ever consider buying one? If you enjoyed this video, do smash that like button and also follow me on Instagram at winerontheMove. Until next time, cheers.